What's going on everyone? My name is Token. Welcome to week 10 of the IBL Indigo Battle League. As this week we are going up against Otto Manthic and his Nijmegen Nuzleafs. So I'm very excited to finish out the season with a very quality opponent in Otto Manthic. This is going to be our rematch. Last time we were able to get the best win, but it's not something I feel will come easily at all, even though we were able to win last time. So if you guys are excited for today's video, definitely leave a like, definitely subscribe to the channel as well as support by sharing the video as well if you do end up enjoying um however thank you for your viewership um in general so guys so 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 this is a huge matchup as this week is a huge deal for us to get the number one overall seat in playoffs so you really really need this one to secure that number one overall seat and so we can get that first round by so i am going to be giving my absolute best effort and hope that uh Automantic is doing the same but i still want to make sure we get this win we need this one guys we worked too hard to not get that number one seat so let's um let's definitely hope we can accomplish that um Pretty much both of the other coaches did fall below me. I'm still I'm the only coach with one loss, I think, at this point. However, that does not mean that we can take Automantic lightly. Um, if we lose like a 1-0, I do think we can still get the number one overall seed, but I don't want a chance that let's get a win and let's secure number one overall. And let's head into the playoffs on the highest height of all high horses as we can as we haven't lost a game since week one. So things are looking good. Quickly before we get into breaking down the team and then get into the matchup, I just want to say that I do apologize for no IBL battle going up last week. However, though, Joseph Games, our opponent, did end up having to forfeit. His in real life stuff was a little too busy for him, which is completely understandable so hope things are going better for you man hope you're a little less uh just being busy is a good thing but it's also not the best when you are a content creator so i hope things are getting a little bit better for you so best of luck with all of that joseph and um thank you for uh playing me for this season i think we played yeah we played earlier in the season and uh thank you for that game man so now though we are um um, and then the other thing I want to talk about was the IPBL. I am sorry, guys, that you haven't seen the IPBL videos. However, though, slightly a little bit before the disband, which I do think I factored into, I did relieve myself of my coaching duties in the IBL. The reason behind that is the fact that I am a pretty busy person. I work nearly full-time hours. I will be working exactly full-time hours here pretty soon, but I work nearly full-time hours. Um... I do try to do my best with content creating for you guys. I'm practicing a lot for VGC as I want to take the 2018 season serious and I'm going to the Anaheim Open. And then lastly, I have a pretty active social life. So for me to commit to something, it needs to be 100% worth my time. I did feel that the IPBL just reached the state where I slightly was starting to question whether it was worth fully worth my time or not. And if I'm starting to question, it usually is not worth my time. So I did decide that it'd be best if I focused on what I needed to focus on a little bit more um, and just relieve myself of the duties. I do 100% apologize to the league for having to do that. As usually when you commit to something, it's you should 100% stick it through. But when you have so many drops, it really, really just starts to dampen the league for everyone. It starts to hurt the league's quality. It just It's just not fun for anyone when there's so many drops. And that's what was occurring. And it just got to the point where it was a little too much for me. And then... Um, and then slightly after I decided that I was going to be leaving, that's when the league disbanded, which 100% does really suck. But um, I will 100% be interested in rejoining the IPBL for next season, as long as I feel things will be better, because um, unreliable coaches are 100% something that I'm not fond of, and if there's too many of them in a the league, I can't see myself wanting to continue to put my time and effort into something that no one or not that no one but a lot of other coaches aren't so anyways just wanted to get that off my chest and discuss that thank you for everything though brendan you're awesome who's the commissioner of the league thank you for everything man you're awesome and this is nothing against you you're an awesome human being and continue to be awesome so now guys let's just get into the matchup against joseph i'm predicting that he is going to bring this time around oh quickly question of the day what was your favorite moment of this season so far we've had some really awesome battles and some awesome plays let us let me know what your favorite moment of the season was in the comments section below but yes joseph's team i'm predicting him to bring this time around gore bias uh umbreon tang growth thunderous therian mammosoin and arcanine um pretty much what i'm not expecting him to bring is a flygon i felt like it worked but it didn't 100 percent work but i could easily see flygon again due to it, it being his only hazard remover so um gore bias i was just thinking is his maybe best chance of just trying to sweep my team with some smash passing action and all that so um, I thought that there's a there's a chance that we can maybe see the Gorbias, but I couldn't see him not bringing any of the rest of his team. 
tank growth is his best way to pressure my slow bro on a switch in. Arm rounds his best way to just tank out all my special hits other than Sylveon. Um, Mammal Swan puts too much pressure on every single team, especially my team with my plethora of ice and ground weaknesses. Um, Arcanine is uh, Arcanine's his best way of dealing with my... Arcanine helps him have a switch in into Sylveon. He really doesn't have one otherwise unless he's like Assault Vest Tangrowth. But then he wouldn't have a reliable recovery, which would be a bit unfortunate. So um, yeah, Arcanine's definitely his best way of dealing with my Sylveon. Or having a switch in into Sylveon as well as damaging my Crobat if I was physical. But as you can kind of see right there, I'm not physical. So I did see all five of these rest five coming no matter what. I was just thinking that he might try to switch something up for this matchup. And that's where I went with Gorbias. I could also see Tapu Fini with Defog. That's probably a likely another likely choice or some, something else. Just I thought the Flygon was the only thing that I could see not coming. He'll probably switch up some moves as well, so we'll have to be on the lookout for that as well. However though guys, let's just hop into my team and this week we are going to be bringing, let me get on showdown on my side laptop if it wants to work for me. And alright guys, this week we are going to be bringing Crobat aka Nighthawk and Crobat this week is going to be rocking out with a move pull up, Air Slash, Giga Drain, Nasty Plot, and Roost. Pretty much what I'm thinking is that he's going to want to bring that Rock Helmet Arcanine more than likely again this week. And I do not want that thing to be an issue for Crobat to be effective in this matchup. And I saw that Air Slash, no, not Air Slash, Nasty Plot Crobat didn't have the worst matchup barring the Thunder Staring. Can't do too much damage to that unless I'm at plus four. And obviously Umbreon kind of kind of can just sit there as well, but I continue to roost up and just get damaged and just continue to go for nasty plots on the Umbreon until I'm at plus six, and then if I get the air slash flinch, then we could be in a really good spot on Umbreon as well, um, because it's, um, spell play shouldn't be doing enough damage if I was looking at that correctly, um, so... Yeah, I thought um, Nasty Plot Crobat looked really nice in this matchup as long as we could get rid of the Thunder Starion. And uh, the speed that Crobat brings to this matchup is just sounds really re sounded really, really nice to me. And um, Air Slash, um, after, after I'm at plus, plus uh, 2, it Oko's the tank growth if it's not specially defensive. Does over half to Arcanine. And it Oko's the um, Giga Drain Oko's the Mammal Swine at plus plus two so I thought it looked extremely extremely nice the EV spread is going to be four in HP 76 in defense 252 in special attack with a modest nature because um, 148 in speed which we have allows me to outspeed Thunder Staring his fastest Pokemon bar and scarf so I didn't feel any need to go any faster and then 28 in special defense in case we take some type of special hit maybe from Tapu Fini or something that lives uh, one of our offensive attacks so yeah, that is going to be Crobat for us this week, and it is rocking out with Black Sludge and Infiltrator. Infiltrator probably won't come into effect, but mainly just Black Sludge, so that we do have that recovery other than having to go for Roost. Next is going to be Heatran, aka Crockpot, and Heatran is going to be the exact same EV spread as last time, 252 HP, 4 in defense, and 252 in special attack with a modest nature. However, the only difference is the fact that I'm no longer running Stealth Rocks on this Heatran, as I wanted to kind of, I wanted to switch things up a decent amount, even if I was bringing the same Pokemon, didn't want to get too predictable, but I definitely think Heatran gave my opponent the biggest trouble, that was kind of what changed the tide last time, and um, I knew that my opponent would probably come with some type of, a little bit different of, of a game plan to try to deal with my Heatran um, adequately. So, pretty much what I was thinking was, let's run Earth Power in case my opponent tries to bring, because last time he realized, he figured out my entire Heatran move pool. It was Magma Storm, Flash, Clan, Flash Cannon, uh, Stealth Rocks, and Substitute. So this time I wanted to run it differently and add Earth Power in case my opponent uses Arcanine as a switch in into this. Um, uh, Heatran, as he saw that I wasn't, I didn't have Earth Power last time, and then also Toxic this time instead of the uh, Stealth Rocks, so that um, if my opponent has some like, if he tries to bring Umbreon on this every single time, we can get Umbreon Toxic and really start to wear that down. I feel like that'd be huge for us, and then we could just get stuff in on Umbreon if it tries to heal off the the Toxic or anything. We could get Sylveon in and then just go for huge damage on some other stuff or go for Eon. So. 
Um, that's pretty much something with Heatran. Definitely rocking out with Flash Fire still and that Fire Z for this week. That is going to be Heatran. Next, we get into Hilo Whisk, aka Shazam. And Hilo Whisk was not brought last time. Same thing with Crobat. Wasn't brought last time. Brought this time. Hilo Whisk is being brought over the what did it over the Verizion that I brought last time. Crobat was chosen over Mr. Mine, but uh, this is being chosen over the Verizion. And pretty much what I'm thinking was that um, with Verizion, the main thing I didn't like was that Verizion is is the obviously the scarf mammoth swine going for stuff like that it forced me to feel the need to run yachi bear and unfortunately garchomp's gonna have the yachi so i didn't feel too comfortable with that this week and then on top of that i just really just like how walled brizion is uh against tangrowth and i feel like tangrowth is gonna be I feel like Tangrowth is going to be used a lot better this week, as I feel, once again, I feel like me getting rid of Tangrowth so early with Heatran kind of changed the entire tide of the game last time, so I feel like Tangrowth is going to be used a lot better, so I wanted um, I wanted a better option for dealing with uh, uh, Tangrowth rather than a Pokemon like Brizion that's complete, pretty much completely walled by, especially a defensive Tangrowth, it could even be especially defensive, but a defensive one entirely walls it. So instead, I decided to bring Choice Specs, Dry Skin, Sh uh, Heliowis, aka Shazam. Heliowis is going to be rocking out with a, a move pool of Hyper Voice, U Turn, Surf, and Focus Blast. Um, Hyper Voice does huge damage to the entirety of my opponent's team. Um, U Turns obviously for Switch Initiative in case my opponent's predicting uh, me to go for an electric type move and tries to bring in like. U Turns just there in case uh, I just want to U Turn out and not reveal that I'm Choice Specs or whatever yet. Uh, because pretty much I'm usually going to be attacking with this Pokemon Surf. Obviously for the Mammoth Swine switch in and for the Arcanine switch in in case either of those want to switch in. And then Focus Blast is for the uh, is for the Umbreon. As it's my only way of getting uh, really solid damage off on the... Well, getting over half damage off on the Umbreon. So hopefully we don't miss Focus Blast if I do get that prediction correct. But the, um, the EV spread on Heliowis at Shazam this week is going to be 44 in HP. 12 in defense, 252 in special attack, 4 in special defense, and then 196 with a timid nature to outspeed as fast as Pokemon in that Thunder Asterion, barring Scarfs. So that is Hero Wiz. I'm hoping Hero can do some damage. And if that Gore, not Gore, guys, if that um, Tabu Finny is brought and it tries to go for a Skull, I'm hoping I can switch in on that. Threaden it with Thunderbolt, it switches out, tries to switch out into possibly Thunder Asterion. And then I could get a huge Hyper Voice to Surf or Choice Specs something off on his team. I just feel like Hayways could do heaps of damage to his team. And I feel like I could kind of maybe catch him off guard considering that I didn't bring it last time. Next is going to be Gar uh, Garchomp, a.k.a. Rampage. And Garchomp this week is going to be rocking out with a move of Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Stealth Rocks. Um, the only thing I really dislike about this Garchomp spread is when we don't have Fire Blast this time. But I couldn't... I couldn't get Fire Blast on this uh, EV spread, on this move pool. Um, I wanted the Stone Edge for Thunderous. I wanted the EQ for things like Arcanine, and just for general good solid stab damage. And I wanted the Dragon Claw for Flygon, or just for um, not having to chance the Stone Edge if uh, Thunderous Therian's already taken 25% uh, 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 to 20% damage already. Then I could just go Dragon Claw and not, uh, and not a chance to miss on that. So I feel like all those were more useful than Fire Blast, and I really wanted Stealth Rock since I don't have it on uh, Heat Trend this time. And I feel like Stealth Rocks on Garchomp will just work out better in the long run. Um, it just really does suck not having Fire Blast for the uh, Tangrowth because that makes this Garchomp easily walled by a defensive Tangrowth. But I feel like we got uh, we got answers for a uh, defensive Tangrowth. But yep, yeah, pretty much Garchomp is going to be rocking out with Rough Skin and a Yachi Berry this week so that he can take a nice type attack. And its um, EV spread is going to be extremely simple, 252 in speed with the Joy Nature, so it can outspeed that um, uh, that uh, Thunder Starion because it only outspeeds that by one point. It's a 102 base speed compared to Thunder Starion's 101, 252 in attack, and then 4 in special defense, maybe the help out a little bit with special defense but that is going to be Garchomp pretty straightforward next is going to be literally the exact same uh, Sylveon NK Navi set we brought last time with Hyper Voice, Swish, Protect, and Yawn didn't see any need to change anything could see my opponent definitely bringing the Poison EMZ on the Thunderous this time around considering how well uh, Sylveon was able to do with walling the Thunderous last time so I could definitely see that so I thought bringing the Kepia Berry 
uh, made a lot of sense to still avoid that. And then I just felt like Sylveon just wore, did what I needed it to do last time. So why try to go two out of the box? I felt like both of my walls did exactly what I needed to do last time. So I kind of just went with the same flow with both of them. Hoping that I can actually use Yawn this time around as I didn't last time. Didn't really come. Uh, no scenario really arose where Yawn seemed like the play. But uh, this, the set is going to be 244 in HP. 84 in special attack and 180 in special defense with a calm nature once again so that we can take those special hits as well as possible and then last but definitely not least is going to be slow bro aka bro and it's going to be rocking out with that exact same EV spread just like I said it's uh Sylvia and my walls are the exact same it's going to be scald psychic calm mind and slack off regenerator leftovers and it's going to be 252 in HP 252 in defense with a bold nature and just four in uh, special attack to hit a little bit harder but uh yeah Pretty much, oh god, it shouldn't be 252, it should have been 244, now I have an even HP number, which is kind of trash, but uh, we'll, we'll be able to deal with it, but um, yeah, that's pretty much slow bro this week, and uh, that's the entirety of the team. So I'm excited guys, we'll see exactly what Automantic brought, and I'm hoping we can finish the season off on a high note, get that number one all overall seat, and finish off the IBO with exactly what we came to get in that championship. So let's see exactly how this week goes, I'll see you guys at the game. What is up everyone, we are finally here with the battle against Automantic, and he is going to be bringing the team of Umbreon, Mamoswine, Tabu, Finny, Arcanine, Thunderstaring, and, and uh, Tangrowth, and that's really funny because... I literally sat on Tapu Fini for the longest, thinking that he'd likely bring it over the Gorbias. And look, that is exactly what we got. Okay, that's that. Can I change this name? Umbreon. And what else has we changed? This is. Tapu Fini. Alright, and we are set in that perfect. Alright, so me I don't know what he wants to lead. Um it's a hard one. What does he want to lead? I'm gonna lead Heatran. Cause that will bluff rocks man. I'm definitely not rocks. So I'll bluff rocks. <sighs> Alright guys. Let's see if we can finish the season off on a high note and secure that number one seed for ourselves. Good luck, have fun to Automantic. Definitely check out his channel below to see his side of the battle. And uh, let's get started. I'm a little short on time, short on time, so sorry if I see and seed throughout this, but I am short on time. Needed us to play a little sooner. He's gonna lead the mammal slime. Could lead on his end. I had a feeling he'd lead it. This could just be um what's it called, mammal slime man? Can't lose my heat trend necessarily, even though I'd love to just attack this thing. Can't lose my heat trend necessarily. Mammal slime had a extremely solid matchup against everything that isn't slow bro, so I see why he led it. Um, he could lead, easily get a Brox here, and that's likely what he will do. So, good lead, bad start on our end, um, yeah, it does just go for Stealth Rocks. So I could have attacked, but just not worth it. Here I'm going to predict him to go into Tangrowth or to go into Tapu Fini. As I am just going to go for, um, as I'm going to go back into Crobat. Yeah, as he does withdraw right into the Tangro. So I'll be going into Nighthawk. We'll take the Stealth Rocks damage, which is annoying, but with uh, Black Sludge and with the uh, with uh, Roost, we should be fine. I'm just gonna nasty plot up. We'll see if it's if Thunderous is just switching into this. See if Arcanine's is switching. We'll get some we'll get some solid insight. Maybe Umbreon. No, because he won't see the nasty plot coming, so definitely not Umbreon.
But once again, good lead on his end. I definitely don't have any way to get rid of rocks, so that's going to be annoying the entirety of this game. But we do have wish passing, and we do have. We don't have a team that's too hindered by rocks, but it's definitely going to be annoying mainly for Crobat and Heliolus. He does withdraw probably into Arcanine. Artist sounds like Arcanine. That is Arcanine. So Intimidate doesn't matter exactly what I wanted to see. Because we will be going for that nasty plot. Now I'm just going to go for Air Slash. He might switch into Thunderous or the Umbreon at this point, now that he knows. So maybe going for another Nasty Plot would have been the play. That's actually probably the play. I should have went for another. But I just don't want a chance that he goes on the offensive here. And now we don't at least get damage off, I don't know how offensive this Arcanine is. I do not know, currently. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm expecting Thunderous or he stays in, so I'm glad I didn't go for another nasty block. And we get the flinch perfect. And he's not gonna let his let's go. Let's go on clothing. Come on, computer. He's not gonna let his uh, his Arcanine go down here. No chance. Let's go, Thunderous. I wanna see Thunderous and I wanna see. It's funny why I did so little that had me scared. Alright, yeah, I need the next nasty block for, for it to do enough damage to Thunderous. And for Embryon, so yeah, I'm gonna go for another nasty block. Can't see him letting this go down. Oh, and he does! He's willing to let this go down? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, as long as this doesn't kill, please don't kill. Alright, doesn't at all. That's his fine. The Giga Drain should take it out now. No, nah, Giga Drain will not. Oh, well, that is a hundred. Oh, yeah, Giga Drain will. Giga Drain will definitely take this out, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for just gonna go for Giga Drain. So Crobat is going to take out Arcanine with Giga Drain. And that's mine. <laughs> One mistake per per battle on clicking the right X. One per battle. But alright, that didn't work out too poorly. Um, sucks I revealed Giga Drain. Probably knows my entire set now from that. As Roost is kind of obvious in my opinion. So he likely goes in the Thunders here. I would, um, I could easily see that. No, he's revealing that he's Scarf Mamoswine. That's definitely Scarf Mammoth Line if you just, if you are gonna bring it in like that. That is a hundred percent a reveal. He's gonna go for the ice move. Do I make a play here and go into Heatran? Cause he has to, absolutely has to go for the ice move. So much that that's the Heatran. Yeah, I'm gonna make a play here. Hopefully it doesn't screw us in the 
screw us, but um, I don't see any way he doesn't. He has to go for the ice type move there, otherwise I Oko with the the grass type move. And he just goes for ice shard. All right, so never mind. He is Sash. I completely wasn't thinking about Ice Shard. Ice Shard. He is Sash. So we have to go into slow growth since he is Sash. No choice. But now we know. Now we definitely know. We know what we need to know. I'm just gonna scald. Could make a play. Could try to could try to go in the heat tram. Could try to go back in a crowbat. But um, I'm just gonna scald here. One, don't want to get too predictable. Two, if I get a burn on the Tangrowth, then I can just switch in uh, uh, Heatran every time after that. So, probably back into Spaghetti again. Is back into Spaghetti. Can we get a burn here? I hate to hope for hacks, but it's, it's honestly just the best play. That's the one in three chance. Like, when we don't get the burn, which is fine. So I really can't afford for anything to lose its item, so I feel like I have to go into Heatran here and uh, see if he does have the EQ. I really can't afford anything to lose its item. But it's good, we have a lead. Um, things aren't going the best though. So rocks on top of... My best switch into this Tangrowth being Heatran, who doesn't, who's neutral on rocks, isn't the best at all. But we do have Wish Passing. I just have to be, have to be uh, on on my toes with making sure I can Wish Pass into my po into the into my team. It looks like it will be needed, especially for this Heatran. We'll see if we see an EQ, see a Hidden Power Ground. Good play. Oh nope, Hidden Power Ice. What did you think I was going into? Oh, he predicted the Crobat again. He predicted Crobat. Um, how much will my Magma Storm Fire MC do to do to your only switch? And now that uh, I guess you got the Finny as well. How much does that do? That I'm curious. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, just barely does over half. Yeah, it just barely does over half. So I'm gonna flash cannon to see first if uh, he just goes in a finny, which he likely does. Yeah, it is the finny switch in. Almost went for toxic there. Finny switch in is pretty obvious. I think there's no scenario where I don't go into slow bro, but I do think Tapu Finny gets grass in that thing. I kind of want to go into Heliolis, but I see I see a nature's madness coming no matter what. So yeah, so yeah, slow bro's definitely the call. If nature's madness is the play. Nature's Madness, yeah. Yeah, I can't can't allow he trying to take that much damage with the chance that Tangrowth still has Earthquake. Can't allow it to take that much damage.
I want to call mine very badly. But as long as Umbreon's around, that's not the play. Well, my name's not the play until I could get rid of Umbreon. So do I just Psychic here? I feel like I should just Psychic. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna Psychic here. So you see a Taunt, not bad. Not bad. And we get the special defense drop, which is great. Vinny has no reliable recovery, so I don't see it staying in after that special defense drop, so now I will go for a Scald, just in case he does switch into Umbreon predicting me to go for another Psychic on his Tangrowth switch in, so I, so I will go for a Scald. So we'll see what does it go into, and it is going to be Midnight, he did predict me to go for another Psychic. I don't want to burn this thing now, I wanted the damage. Alright, cool. So I guess actually switching out would have been the better play, so the switch into something. <laughs> Going to Sylveon here. I'm gonna go for Yod. He might just protect, but I feel like, uh, or he might just switch in. He might just switch in Vinny, and he might just come back in. Honestly, so that might have not been the play. But since Yon's an attack, I feel like it might still work with Misty Terrain. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna go for Yon. Could see Mamoswine coming in as well, um, considering that he is going to get the wish, and there's no move that I'm going to Oko Mamoswine with, so he would get the wish right after taking damage. But I'm still going to go for Yon. We'll see exactly what he decides to do. The time is all right. Doing all right on time. So he is going to switch <sighs> into the Finny. See if Yon still works. Yeah, Yon is still gonna work. So he has to switch out unless he wants us to go to sleep. And he does not have the best switch ins into this. So I go with Helio always maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Hyper Voice. As he goes for Nature's Madness, okay. Is Eon just not gonna work then? Ooh, and I could have killed this thing. Yeah, I mean, Eon just doesn't work. Ooh, I could have killed this thing on the Switch in. I didn't think I was gonna do that much damage to it. I avoid the Nature's Madness, which is really nice, but I don't think it's that big of a deal as I was going for Wish either way. I'm just gonna Hyper Voice. He goes for Taunt, a little too late. Going straight for Hyper Voice. I don't mind the yeah. Don't mind the Nature's Madness. I will be able to wish this back up as soon as Zombreon comes back in. So not too concerned. We'll get Tapu Fini goes down to Hyper Voice. Goes down to Sylveon's Hyper Voice. So things aren't looking too bad. 
so I'm not concerned with that nature's madness. Um, he might go into his, uh, what's it called now, though? Nope, just goes into spaghetti. I'm just gonna protect. Oh, I can't protect. I really wanted to protect. Um, still not trying to lose my item, though. Um, he might go for the earthquake now. It's, it's all good in the neighborhood if he does. Yeah, he does go for those, like, that shouldn't kill. It may, though. Oh, and it does kill. Alright, so getting rid of this is actually going to be extremely annoying now that we lost um, Heatron. I knew I should have been better with that. I should have went into Crobat there. Crobat was definitely the play there. Not a huge deal, though. I'm gonna roost here, whether he goes for knockoff or not. Probably should have went to Garchomp and went for Stealth Rocks so that I could uh, break the Sash on Mammoth Slime because I do think it's Sash. Let's see how much Mammoth Slime is. Let's go Sash. Let's go Sash. Let's go Corbonix. How much does Ice Shard do? Even Adamant Ice Shard only does 63%. So yeah, I should have went for Stealth Rock so I could break the Sash on that so that uh, uh, Giga Drain when I'm at plus 2 can Oko that. Let's see what he went for here. If I just knock off. In Paradise, okay. What should I do? Oh, I'm not a flying type. Alright, well, I could set up on this thing then. That's exactly what I'm going to proceed to do. One hidden power I should not kill. Yeah, and it doesn't. Okay, we'll roost again. Mm, should probably be attacked. Probably sees that coming. Nope. Alright. Ooh, the play. Nice play. That had a huge damage. So I can't even kill this at the health on that. Which did him per ice do last time? I don't know, I'm just gonna go on the offensive. As he does finally withdraw into Thor. Okay. I'll at least get damage off on this. Oh no, 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 I misclicked! Oh crud, I meant to click Roost! Crap. Well, that's a misclick if I've ever seen one. Ah, uh, I meant to click Roost because then I wouldn't have my lips, my tight, my. Oh crap. Yeah, that's gonna kill us now because I didn't click Roost. Oh god, that really sucks. Alright, well. Crobat goes down to the Thunderous' Hen Power Eyes. Oh man, that's really annoying.
Just in case this is Scarfiachi, I'll just go for the Stone Edge. I mean Scarf Hin Paradise, not Scarfiachi. Scarf Hin Paradise. He has to go in a tank bro. Or a midnight. One of these two. And that was a crit. This thing is extremely defensive. Oh my god, that is so annoying. If I would've oh my god, I think I could have maybe Kinda of maybe put a huge dent in his team. I don't think I would have sweat because I do think the Mammoth Sign Slash Sash. But I could have put a huge dent in his team if I would have just not have misclicked there. I'm gonna go for rocks here though. I do predict him to wish or something. He might just go for foul play though. Because he does just wish. Been playing way too much showdown as of late, and I was thinking I could backtrack my move. That's why I wasn't more careful. I ended up just slightly clicking the wrong thing. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. But nothing we can't bounce back from. Nothing we can't bounce back from. So here I'm gonna go into Sylveon. I see no reason not to. As he likely stays in and goes for a foul play. Or he doesn't stay in one of the two. We'll see. Because he does withdraw, so I should have probably stayed in. Yeah, I withdraw. Which is his play. Um, now we're in a really tight spot. Oh no, no, we're not, we're not. That slow rose at a lower health than he's at. So I desperately need to get that um, Desperately need to get what's it called? Uh, uh the Umbreon in. Because that is going to allow us to then. I think I need to do slack off. Yeah, I'm gonna slack it off. He does go for knockoff, but shouldn't kill. Does not kill. We slack off. Now he likely switches out. Oh, the Crobat set was beautiful and I ruined it. I ruined it. Crobat could just put a huge dent in my opponent's team. He does switch out. I am going for Skull. He's gonna go into the Tangrowth. Probably should have just went for another black off, but we generated didn't see if it's necessary. If we could get a burn, we do finally get that burn. Nice. I'm gonna slack off and see if does he even have the boss type move. He does. Oh, that almost killed us. Oh my lord. I desperately wanted to scout for that because I really don't want anything to lose its item at this point in the game. I really don't have anything that I want to lose its item. But, since it looks like it's coming down to it, it's gonna likely have to be uh, Heliolisk at this point. Alright, he just goes for good. I did 
tons of damage though. Tons and tons of damage. All I can do is hyper voice this thing. Oh, it takes that so well. Because it's burned, can we live? I doubt it. Oh, we live because of the burn. This thing likely switches out. I think this thing can actually win my opponent the game. If I if I don't get a if I don't get even if I do, even if I get a wish up uh, Giga Drain and me just not having coverage for this thing, I think can win my opponent the game. So if he doesn't switch this out, he's gonna make a huge misplay. Oh, and he doesn't switch it out. You just misplayed so bad at this kill. Please don't low roll me. Oh, the low roll. The low roll. That was definitely less than last time. And Burns not gonna kill. No, you gotta be kidding me. How fast is this thing? How fast is this thing? But it's 63 speed. It's gonna outspeed. It's gonna outspeed so good. Let's just make sure. Uh, actually, I may not. Because I just really don't want to lose momentum. Mm, he likely sped creep for myself. Oh, man. Freak, I need this thing gone. That is easy sim speed creeping for myself. What did that do so low damage? No, it's like I can really so quick. Supposed to do so much more damage, so he has to have a lot of special defense. Investment. Still didn't do the damage. He has to be a soul vest. He's a soul vest. Yeah, it's definitely a soul vest. Let's look at the tangled soul vest tangled thing. Yeah, that looks much more right. Do I chance this thing having? Oh crap. Alright. Well, I took too long and it picked for me. Which probably worked out for the better. There's still no reason. Yeah, no reason for me to chance. Do you chance my Sylveon in this scenario? So my play a million percent. I stay EQ here. And uh, we did lose Silly Oils. Did lose Silly Oils. Oh, sorry. Silly Oils gets on top of it. That's funny. Uh, let's move this down to bottom. I'll fix that. It's fine. Oh man. I think Tangrowth is gonna win the game. I lost both of my, my answers to Tang Because of a misclick. Like if I don't misclick there, Crobat's still alive. And we're in a solid position. That misclick is really gonna cost me. And let me close my window. Sorry about that guys. <sighs> Sorry about that. Did not think people were gonna be smashing boxes around this morning. But he is going to let Tangles go down, so thank the lord. I do think that's once again going to not be the, the play that should have been made. I don't think once again that's going to be, that is going to be a misplay. Um, now we, um, now that Tangles is gone, now I feel better. Now that Tangles is gone. Because Sylveon beats the Umbreon. Garchomp beats the Thunderous and 
Slowbro beats this Mammoth Slime, but I do just want to quickly check and see what that guy changed. Yeah. This one, Mammoth Slime, Luminous Ash. Yeah, we don't kill it anymore. So I do, yeah, so I am going to be, excuse me, I am going to be forced to switch back into slow, bro. Um, if he doubles into Thunderous, that could cost us the game. Yeah, and he's, now that I see he's taking more time on his decision, that's actually pretty scary. I don't have a choice there. Ah, oh, I guess I'm gonna double into Thunderous. Yeah, good play. I just thought about it after it happened. That was the play to be made. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. How do I win this game? How do I win this game? I honestly don't think I have to cho have a choice. I think I have to go back in the guard chomp. Don't really have a choice. Um, if he plays it safe in Thunderbolts, thank the Lord, but I don't think he's gonna make that play. It just doesn't make enough sense. I do have the Yachi Baby for a reason. We'll see if he went for in Paradise. He went for Thunderbolt. Oh, there's, there's hope. There is hope. Now here he has to go into um, he has to go into Umbreon. Yeah, he has to go into Umbreon. So I'm gonna make the switch into Sylveon. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Cause he can switch. I'm pretty sure he can switch back in on rocks one more time. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Have to wish. Wishing is definitely my play. Um, I could go on the offensive, but I do feel wishing is my play. So he's gonna wish as well, which is perfectly fine. Then I'm going to yawn. Two withdrawals into the mammoth line. No longer have any, this should work. Oh, Yon might save our life. Yon just might save our life. Let's go, Sylveon. Have to protect, can't chance that type of damage. Should put him to sleep. Oh, let's go, guys. Let's go. Do I wish again? Maybe should wish again. No, it's not necessary. It's just going offensive. Oh, I should have wished again now that I think about it. This isn't going to kill. I should have wished again. I'm just going to bank on him staying asleep and I'm going to go on, stay on the offensive. Yes! Woo! 
Woo. So there's a chance that kills me. Earthquake does 66 66 uh, percent to 71.8 percent. Instead, high roll would have killed me. So Sylveon will take out Mammoth Slime with Hyper Voice. Thor comes in. I'm going to protect first in case he burns his Z move here. Because he does just Thunderbolt. And now he goes for the hidden power. So that is going to be game. GG's title, man thick. Uh oh my god. Scary game, but it's just freaking awful that I made that misplay. I feel like Crobat would have put us in such a solid position because if I roosted there, then Crobat would have Crobat would have still been around. I would have got it back up to the health I needed it to be at. Then I switched Crobat out. And then we play this with Crobat still, and then Tangrowth doesn't become such a huge problem. But I feel like if my opponent would have just used his regenerator and kept Tangrowth around, I could have lost this game because of that exact mess play um, on that turn. But uh, thankfully, 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 um, Sylveon came through a yawn. That super came through for us. Oh god. Scary game. Yeah. Oh, slightly lives. That's cool. Why not prolong this one? He does protect. Alright, no, 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 no harm done. No harm done. I wished, um, but yeah, that is that is going going to be game. Uh, Umbreon can't one v one this so game. And I will just be on it to make sure of that. But yeah, Yon Sylveon coming through for us. Um, oh god. Thank god we kept that kept that game plan in there. So guys, 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 guys. We are going to improve. We're going to improve to 9-1 on the season. We're securing that number one overall seed in our conference. And now we have the first round bye that we wanted going into playoffs. I'm so freaking excited to... I'm so excited for this. Oh, God. Playoffs are going to be wild. We'll definitely have to continue to bring our best and not misclick like we misclick with Pro Deck. Going for another nasty plot with an electric type in our face. But, um... Uh, thankfully, we were just able to win this game. And, uh... Continue the hot streak guys and secure that number one overall seat. That's all I wanted to do this week And that's what I was able to accomplish. I am really hard on myself when plays like that Crobat play do happen But it was a misclick. There's not really much you can do about that. Just unfortunate. Just extremely unfortunate I'll save the battle video And uh, we're all good to go guys all good to go. GG's to Automantic, guys. Please go check out his channel in the description. This guy's a fantastic battler. He made so many good plays. His lead was on point. His um, uh, Most of his plays were on point for the entirety of the game. Just uh, Automantic is a really, really solid battler. And definitely someone you guys should check out. Um, he <laughs> He's just an awesome person in general, so definitely channel link in the description Please do go check out his side of this battle and uh, I can't wait for playoffs guys I'm so excited uh, having a first round blind means we probably will not have a game go up next week more Literally 90% chance no game next week because that's when everyone will be playing their round one games So no game next week. We will get that first round by but then guys We will be trying to add another championship to our repertoire in here in the indigo battle league so thank you guys for the support throughout don't forget the question of the day favorite moment of this season what has been your favorite moment and uh thank you guys just so much i appreciate it this has been one wild ride and i've just enjoyed every moment of it oh your salaz and salazzles are the number one overall seed let's see what happens for now guys peace